It's the most wonderful time of the year. Happiest season of all. Right, Carl and Niall are currently having a Christmas sing off. Let's, let's do it. We'd like singing together, not sing off. No, no, no. Come on, sing off. I'll start. is feeling very Christmassy at the moment. I am feeling so Christmassy. I got my Christmas mug out. Oh my God, actually, if any of you have not seen this yet, go on Mariah, Ca Mariah Carey's Instagram. She posted the best reel ever yesterday. <laughs> Guys, I'm very so excited. Oh my god, I can't get us to stop. There we go. Halloween has been, which means Christmas begins. I, do you know what? When do you put up your Christmas tree? Because I know some people put up their Christmas trees on the 1st of November. That's slightly early for me. Although I would love it, but because I get a real tree, it would just die. But I'm, I'm getting FOMO a little bit because I've seen some people have started decorating and I don't usually start until like day one of vlogmas which is in another month so yeah having a bit of a situation at the moment where I'm unsure when to start I don't know whether to like I don't know because we have the, the room downstairs this year which we didn't have or we did have last year but it was all sort of dingy and not very nice but since we've had the renovation we haven't had a Christmas with it yet and I, I kind of want to like get a fake tree for that room just so I can do it a little bit earlier and then but then I don't know does it ruin the excitement of going to get the Christmas tree like the proper big one for the living room then I don't know what do you think when do you decorate let me know <laughs> but I'm gonna definitely be starting to, well I already am getting very Christmassy I was at a Christmas party last night actually I'm in Christmas pajamas as well <laughs> So these are some new PJs I got recently from H&M. Do you know what? I really like them because they look kind of like stylish Christmas pyjamas in a way. Like some of my Christmas pyjamas look like a 10 year old, but these I think look really cool. I was at a Christmas party last night, so it's, I'm just feeling very Christmassy, but I'm also very exhausted. Do you know what? You know my last vlog was the like very Halloween-y friends party that was the last vlog which has just been and i was i was talking about this to now yesterday and i was saying how i don't think i'm an introvert right because i love socializing and i'm very sociable in social situations however i do find after i've had quite a few days of socializing i am absolutely exhausted to the point where I don't want to have any conversations so that's what makes me think maybe I am a little bit introverted do you know what I want to do that personality test maybe I should do that now <laughs> but it takes a while doesn't it so I don't know it's the Myers-Briggs one because I think then that tells you a bit more Ooh, oh I think one of the dogs is at the door wait there come in my children hello we're talking about Christmas are we excited we actually, oh no, we have muddy paws on the white bed. Do you know what? It was one of the worst decisions I ever made getting white bedding around the house because if you have dogs and when it starts to get a bit like rainy and muddy in the winter, just absolute shambles, isn't it, Baz? You've just made my lovely white bed look disgusting. What was I saying? Oh yeah, we did a little pets at home trip the other day as well because I needed to get their flea and worming stuff and they had their Christmas range because it was I think it was the first of November they bring it in they had a huge range I've got them little reindeer onesies it's so cute maybe I should go get it 
Also, my, my breakfast is definitely going cold, so give me one second to eat this. Let me show you what I'm, I'm having. So I've made myself a bowl of oats, and we've got Nutella, and we've got some flaked almonds, but I also popped in two of these. Oh, look at this. Oh, my gosh, look at that. These are two bogey buttons <laughs> that were from the Halloween party food that we didn't eat, so I've popped them in. They smell like caramel nibbles, so I'm excited about that. The, the inside part is green, though. Look, can you see that? I mean, that doesn't look quite so appetising, but yeah, I'm going to eat this because it's going to go cold and I'll, I'll be back. Silent night, holy night. Sorry, I'm just sitting in that side because it's stuck in my head because the boys were singing it earlier. But how cute do they look? So these are their little reindeer onesies. They're so snuggly inside as well. Oh, look at them, they're so cute. Look at her little, she's so squishy, isn't she, Bluebell? <laughs> look at her little wrinkly face. Anyway, we have the princess switch on at the moment. I've been watching it on and off the past few days because they are actually bringing out a third one in a few weeks, I think. So, yeah, I just really like the princess switch. It's weird because it's kind of like one of those films you think would be really, like, tacky and rubbish. I think it's just because I really like Vanessa Hudgens. Um... From high school musical but yeah i'm really excited for the third one anyway i when i went down i did also just bring up this because i want to show you basically the christmas party i was at last night was the ghd party they were launching their christmas collection and i want to show you this i might actually do a giveaway for this because i already have a ghd tong so i may do a giveaway or i may give it to someone as a christmas present but i'll have a think but i might actually do like what i did with the leggings but just on like a youtube video because i feel like it's not a nice thing to do especially now leading up to christmas doing like these little giveaways here and there just randomly i am actually arranging a big one again this is stunning though look at this box so it's this gorgeous like oh, i can't do it with one hand there we go this gorgeous emerald green. I don't really want to fully pull this off because I'm going to give this to somebody. But how stunning is that? What a gorgeous Christmas gift. And if you look, I think they're... I'm not sure how you describe this colour, but it's a bit gold. It's a bit silver. I don't think the camera's really doing it justice. But these are the best straighteners ever. And for curling your hair. I really don't want to ruin this, the way this is packaged up. <laughs> But yeah, I just thought I'd show you that because I think it's so pretty. And I love this like deep dark green that they've done for their Christmas collection this year. Let me just try to get it in. But yeah, that's where I was last night in London, their Christmas party, which was very fun. Also, this did just arrive in the post. So this is the coolest Christmas bed in I think I've ever seen. Look at this. And I actually think Niall will uh, like allow it. <laughs> He doesn't like over the top Christmas bedding, but isn't this so cool? So basically I am going to be working with Skinny Dip on their bedding at, on Black Friday. And this was the one I really, really wanted, <laughs> obviously. But how cute is it? If you're on the hunt for a Christmas bedding, I would highly recommend it. This isn't part of the collaboration, by the way. I just wanted to show you in case it does sell out really quick because I just, I do think it will sell out really quick basically because it's just so cool. Are these two not the cutest dogs you've ever seen? I just, I just can't cope with how cute they are. <laughs> do you know what? Everywhere we go, people love them so much. Like me and I sometimes just look at them and we're like, we're just so lucky to have them. I'm, they're, I'm, they're just my obsession. <laughs> and Poppy of course, but they are just adorable. Anyway, um, we have just had a food delivery, so I thought I would give you a quick show before I pop it away. So, oh, what's that? Oh, we've got some letters. Lovely. Right, I'm just making sure that I'm allowed to speak because they were doing something where I had to be quiet. That's why I was in that room. <laughs> I can't, can I speak? I've got the thumbs up. No, but I didn't know if you were. Ah, oh, you had planned that, didn't you? <laughs> right, I had I heard you talking, put it down. Did you? I know she's going to like just sit there and do like, <laughs> Can I? Shut your house. <laughs> <laughs> right, 
I'm gonna give you a quick show of what we have in our food shop this week. We actually ordered from Asda this week, so I've got some new little bits that we don't usually have. So I wanted to give a try of Gino De Campo's we'll say, collection. There you go. <laughs> Suzette, yeah, your very own Gino De Campo. Oh, you're right? jealous of Gino? Do you know what that means? So imagine the good fight. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing last? Can't just put we're putting, it we're putting all, we're putting Imagine the good fight had a collection in, in Sainsbury's. That would be so cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be cool. Like Lucy Watson did Feed Me Vegan. Yeah, that would be cool. Why don't you try and do that? Oh, I will. Well, I wonder how you do that. Does anyone know? Right, that would be so cool. Wouldn't you not? What would you have in your range? Oh, now we've run out of memory. Because I'm waiting for you to shut your trap hole. <laughs> I'm gonna some clips for it. Stop being a little! Uh, what would you have in your collection in Sainsbury's hunt? Um, You'd have to have a peri sauce. Oh yeah, peri peri. I'd have tacos. You'd I'd have, have to have tacos. kale. Okay, I'd have tacos. You'd have to put some weird ingredients and chemicals into your own. Oh, I'd have noodles. I'd have, no I'd have garlic chili noodles. Ready meal. Ready meal. Oh, you could do like Take high protein, way. healthy ready meal. Anyway, as I was saying, I wanted to try Gino De Campo's range, so I got rigatoni because that's my favourite. Didn't you say you didn't mean to order that? No, I did, but I thought it, I thought it was hard, but it's fresh I thought, right, I thought you'd be like, stop <laughs> trying to show me up on my own <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> I did mean to order it, but Carl said it's fresh pasta, yeah. and I thought it was like I covered. thought you were just making the best out of a situation. You're like, oh, I really wanted this pasta. <laughs> No, I did order it. <laughs> also, this, this is why I wanted to order that pasta, because I'm going to try it with this sauce. So I usually use red pesto, but this is red pesto and ricotta. Even you wanted it's to try this, didn't you, You Carl? meant to try that, order that as well? Yeah, I meant to order that. Yeah. Go ahead! Well, no, I mean substitution, I don't know. No, right. no, I picked it, because we were at Asda. Those are some things that are a bit different this time. Yeah. We've got some amaretto, right? Not because I want to drink it, but because I'm going to make some biscuits tomorrow from my BBC Good Food Christmas magazine and they look really nice. You're gonna help me, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. We've got some peri-peri sauces, which we love in this house for our chicken kale chicken, chicken kale and rice. We've got kale. We've got some smoked salmon, which I've started to have with some eggs a bit more often in the Mornings. What else we got? We've got Bit some baby wraps for Niles cooking. So, what are you making today? Or, we're making those burritos we made in the, oh, yeah, in the Halloween. They were really nice. The Callow rice cakes, which are my favourite snacks. These are so good. Today? Love them. And they're not like dry and boring because they put like a good amount of chocolate on top which is what we want. We've got some almonds and some sugar. This is also for my recipe, which I'm gonna make tomorrow, I think, because we're actually going to London today to another event, and I think we're gonna bring you, so I won't have time today. Philadelphia for my pasta. Heck sausages as well for my pasta. These are the best sausages, because they don't go all like greasy. Flat, isn't it? They're not as greasy. Good quality sausage. They are a good quality sausage. Actually, I thought I bought, I almost bought heck chicken Yay. nuggets. What was that? You know, he's, he's a cheeky man, this guy. No, this makes a good quality sausage. That's yeah. all. <laughs> you mean, Mel's the one who said it. Who am I looking at your face? You smiled at me. Shut up. You smirked at stuff. You two are the two. Look how cute the dogs look! Oh, no. Oh, they got watchsies. Then they look so. Look how cute oh. they look! I was saying how me and you just obsess over them all the time and everywhere we go everyone loves them don't they now? Oh yeah. In so the bakery, oh. on the walks. Oh, you're the perfect little couple aren't you? Oh, I love them. Right, I'm going to put this away and I'm actually going to head... I'm burnt so I'm just saying bye. I'm going to put this away and then I'm going to head to the gym for a little cardio session. So I'm going to bring you... It's in my Beyond Planner for the day, so... Jingle them bells and frolic Oh my gosh, some stolly Eggnog, gin and tonic Make Yuletide gay and... Dry. My house, be quiet! 
You're not scary at all. No, it's too soft, isn't it? Yeah, you are. <laughs> okay. well, what am I going to do to you, really? He's, he's trying to use tripod as something. I'm a darling. <laughs> That's quite, that doesn't look like it. It does, doesn't it? Exterminate. Exterminate. <laughs> Exterminate. This is what the good, the day in a working life of the good bite is like. Yeah. Remember that episode where they got to a set, a set of stairs and everyone was like, oh, how are they going to get up the stairs and they just start levitating? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do! Did you realize that? <laughs> levitating like my skin. Yeah, like your pumpkin. Who likes Niles' pumpkin sketch? I think we should do a Christmas version. He should, should oh. Oh. <laughs> Channel pumpkin sketches. <laughs> oh God, Mate, people would. You actually, people would. It reminds me of South Park a bit. You know yeah. when they've got them either side. People would though. Like really, I feel like the. Yeah, please comment below who time. liked Niall's pumpkin sketch and should he do more? Oh mm -hmm. look, cuddles with Uncle Khan. <laughs> <laughs> oh look at her. She loves the cuddle that you blew. That is so soft. Isn't it so soft? It's like cuddling in a real... Bluebell is literally like a real life teddy bear. And then we get a big brazzy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I have just picked my outfit for today's little outing. So me and I are heading to London to go to a Disney Christmas event today, which is so cool. But I've popped on this. Now, I haven't worn this out yet. You guys actually were so nice about it in my other vlog, but I wore a cap. I'm not going to wear the cap. I've just, just done my hair like this, half up, half down with this little scrunch. You know what? I get so much use out of this little faux leather scrunchie. It's so good. I don't even remember where I got it from. I've had it for years, but it just goes really cool with everything. But yeah, I've got on my little suit set from Zara and then my little nasty gal long sleeve crop. And I'm definitely going to be throwing a large coat over me because it is so horrible today. It's three o'clock and it's so dark, but it's raining, it's cold, it's grey. <laughs> UK winter sucks, but we just have to get cozy to make up for it. Anyway, me and Carl are about to play a song together on the piano. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Are you going to play a song together, Carl? Yes, Uncle. We are. I'm coming to you right now, live and direct. Okay. Okay. Hey, <laughs> Tracy, live and direct now, come Go on, introduce our song. And today, <laughs> Rachel Adadeji. <laughs> Who's Rachel Adadeji? She's off the X Factor, that's what he does, this voice, isn't it? Next up, <laughs> Adele. <laughs> I know I do that. I can't do it like normal. I'm like, I have to get into it. <laughs> right, basically, we're gonna have a go at covering. Well, Carl's really good at this on the keys, aren't you? Ah, well, Carl's a huge times. Adele fan. As we know, Carl has already learned this song, which is her new one. And I've tried to learn it too, because I'm not quite as big as an Adele fan. But I, this song grew on me at first. <laughs> Don't you, don't you dare say that about her. Why I fell in love with Adele? Because of the 73 questions on Vogue. That was good, one, not it? She's so cool. Yeah, she is. Like, her personality made me love her even more. She's sassy. She's, if you haven't watched that video on YouTube, watch it. It's so funny. She's such a babe. I'm gonna sing it to 
Singing is done. You better watch out. You better not cry. Look at you, you, you better. Oh, here's my sack. You better not pelt. I'm telling you why it's so dark. Berry tackles are coming. Next Christmas delivery <laughs> is in my <me> arm. <laughs> right. I have done a little order on next. Ready for Chris. It looks, look how blue it is in here. Yeah, isn't it? Dark. Like an alien, hang on. I thought it would readjust. <laughs> it's just blue. Basically, I did a little shot on. Do you want to open this with me? Do you want to? Oh, you're not feeling it? No, I want to eat my beer tacos at the same time. Okay, you have your tacos. We look, <laughs> we literally look like blue aliens. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> Better than I cry. <laughs> that biggest knife? <laughs> wow. People always tell me I'm feeling PG like... content. <laughs> It's a kitchen knife. Okay, so basically I did a shop on Next. They have some really cute Christmas things. Oh, we have this super cute biscuit I was going to say biscuit to, uh, not Tim really, is it? Do, Do you know? like it? Yeah, it's nice. How cool is that? So it's mainly actually kitcheny stuff that I got. Got some chocolate digesters in that. Yeah, imagine. So we go with our cu cup of tea. Good cup of tea. Cup of tea in the Santa John, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's Santa. No, it's Santa. No, wait, it's no. not Northern, your accent, is it? What? It's Northern. Yeah, I'm Midlands. Midlands, Midlands. right. Oh, wait, you, you've seen me talk about this weeks and weeks ago, so you can vouch for me that I waited a I'm while. Afraid. You will remember this. Uh, do you remember this? I do, I do. It's a little gravy boat, but it's a sleigh. Is, yeah, quite, it actually looks quite cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that is nice. So I use that on Christmas Day, but also just like. It just looks a bit out, yeah, to be fair. How cute is that? Got some fill it with chocolate minstrels and just go ham on it. Go on then, hun. I love a minstrel, do you? I, do. I like the counters though, you know, ones without the, the shelf. No. Oh, it's so Got good. Do you know what I used to do with minstrels when I was younger and what? loads of girls did? <laughs> I don't know what you're going to say. You're going to like bite all around the sides and then like, eat mm. them separate. No, no. We used to put them in our bras <laughs> and then they melted inside. No! No! <laughs> No, that's, no, that's no, strange. No, no, you take it out. Yeah, I know what you I know, I know, I know, but it's just the fact that you put them down your bra no, to no, get them no, melted. I see that. Wow. Loads of, loads of girls in my school did that. It was mm. the norm. Oh, this is so cute. Ooh, Look look at this. I like the colour, actually. Do you like it? Yeah. So, it's different. Have... Only, everything's only red, isn't it? Yeah. We've got a Christmas little pod. Christmas pudding teapot because my pumpkin ones have failed. And I actually saw this one at that time, but I was like, it's a bit early. But I love my cup of teas in the morning, don't I? You know, no. have you ever had chai? 
tea? Yep. No, I haven't. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Is it? Oh, chai, vanilla, and like tea. Oh, what's this? <laughs> She's got. Matching Christmas pajamas for me and Dale. <laughs> <laughs> so. They look comfy. Yeah, next pajamas are so good. So I got these little London bus Christmas pajamas. They're in like a sage colour actually, which is nice. And I basically have got an Isla Pair TV. He doesn't know it yet, but. <laughs> he'll enjoy it. As much as he'll um and ah about it, he'll love trying it on. He will. He always says to me, why don't you get me pajamas too? Well, no, I have. <laughs> What's the oh, I actually feel quite nice. They do, don't they? Yeah. They're like a soft brushed cotton. That's it. Where are they from next? Yeah. I'm going to go into next. Yeah, maybe we'll get, <laughs> we will get some Imagine. soon. <laughs> the girl that's called Emma Bridgewater that sells her like, I, well, I don't think she hand paints them all, oh, but it's nice, like, it? it looks hand painted, doesn't it? And she's got loads of different styles on I next. the shape of the mug, actually. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? And I really like this one because it's like Christmas biscuits. How nice is that? I love a, I do love a mug. <laughs> that is my little next shop. Very festive. I'm going to get all these little things out and pop them in the kitchen. But how nice. How cute all those things. Look yeah, at them I, lined I up. my favourite is probably the Santa. Is it? Yeah, because I like biscuits. <laughs> do the vlog. It's a bit chilly. Do the vlog thing. Right, we've arrived in London and it's looking very cute. Is this Christmas? Is that Christmas decorations? Yeah, they're gonna, they, oh no, actually, I think they turn them on today in places in London. No. They do. But we've arrived in London. We're in Covent Garden, which is like one of our favourite spots in London, isn't it? If you're gonna visit London, go to Covent Garden over Oxford Street. It's so cute. I'm gonna show you now because it's all lit up and it just looks so nice. Guys, how pretty does it look? Look how pretty it looks now. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I was talking to someone else. How pretty. Oh, look, there's Matilda. We're going there with my mum for a B-Day. Oh. In a few weeks. Nice. So pretty. I think we're down here. Guys, this is my dream. How cool is this? <laughs> so these are, I think they're products they're releasing for Christmas. How cute. That's so cute, I like that. Do you want Christmas? No, do you know what I actually like the look of? They've got an advent calendar, and basically in each window it's got a paper bauble that you make. So I think it goes 3D. And it's got a different character in each one. How cute is that? Also guys, the Disney Christmas advert has just come out. I haven't fully watched it yet, but this is it. The Disney advert is my second favourite after John Lewis. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that, but I'm excited to watch this when we get home. Niall! <laughs> I think you should get one. There might be one of these under the tree for Niall, I think. Also, I just found this, which looks so cute. Do you know who I'd love to get this for? Bri's little bub. Because basically, and each day, there's a different storybook. How cute is that? That is such a bougie advent calendar, but I love it. Oh my god, guys, Donald Duck's in the building. <laughs> Look, it's Daisy! <laughs> oh, so cute. I feel like I'm in Disneyland. every <laughs> year. I just can't get enough. I drink till Rudolph reappears A toast to him, that red nose beer Jingle them bells and frolic Good morning everybody. It is now the next day. I feel like I always, do you know what? I repeat saying so much when I film. It made me laugh so much the other day. Someone DM'd me saying, her and her friends did a drinking game to one of my videos. And basically every time I said basically, I think I just said basically every time I said basically then as well. But every time I said basically, and every time I did my dog voice, and every time I said like Niall in the, like my higher pitched voice, they drank. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Anyway, my nose looks so pink, doesn't it? I think it's gone down a bit now, but when I first just got the camera out, it's so cold, guys. I look like Rudolph. It's freezing in here. Anyway, um, I haven't seen you since last night when we were at the event. I just wanted to explain what we were actually doing on that last clip because I didn't explain at all. But we were making these little Christmas Disney baubles. 
thought I'd show you mine. So this is what I made. I mean, I've lost some glitter on the ear, which is sad, but I made that from scratch. Killed it, but yeah, basically, oh God, I just said basically, didn't I? I need to start, I need to, do you know what? I actually think that when I edit my videos, I say basically so much. Anyway, we had a really, really good time at that event. It was so much fun. Do you know what as well? I, I'm about to bake. This is what I'm about to bake. Um, I'm gonna pop you down and have a chat, but quickly, this is what I'm making. These little amaretti biscuits. I am so obsessed with these, but I feel like they're so underrated. But basically, oh, oh, there it is. The basically was back. <laughs> I've got this from my BBC Good Foods Christmas magazine. Never made something like this, so I'm hoping I'll turn out nice. But if you've never tried an amaretto biscuit, what are you doing? Because they are so good. Do you know why I think I love them so much though? I was thinking, I used to go to my local cafe with my dad on a Saturday morning every weekend and have a hot chocolate, he had a coffee, and they gave you the cutest little amaretto biscuits and I think that's where I fell in love with them. It was called Gigolos, the cafe, I still remember. <laughs> but I, I love them so much. I think Niall said to me when I, when I found this the other day, he was like, I don't think I've ever had one of them, so I don't know why they're so underrated. But anyway, our ingredients today, we just have some lemons, we're gonna zest them, give them a great. We're gonna use some egg whites. We've got some ground almonds, which I think is like the sort of substance to them because there's no flour. And then we've got caster sugar. We've got amaretto, which is optional actually. So if you have kids and you wanna make these and you don't want alcohol in them, you don't have to. It says it's optional, but I can't imagine what it'll be like without. I guess the almonds make it amaretto-y, but then I just think, be so much nicer with this um, and then we have some icing sugar just to dust them as well what i was going to say is new john lewis christmas advert came out this morning i'm a bit disappointed i'm not gonna lie i was i had high hopes i mean it is a bit hit and miss with the christmas adverts some years they're insane some years not so much and some people did say to me on instagram this morning they were like it might be a grower because some Christmas adverts, I'm very passionate about my Christmas adverts, if you can't tell. Um, but some Christmas adverts, I feel when you first watch them, you're like, mm, you've got really high expectations. So it's a bit of a letdown, especially of John Lewis, because they have the best ones usually. Yeah, I watched the John Lewis one, and then we watched the Disney Christmas one last night when we got in. I think I prefer the Disney one this year. The John Lewis one, the music is nice. It's got that like emotional feel to it. But it's a bit strange. I think I need to watch it again. Because I, I just, I wasn't blown away. I didn't get goosebumps. And I really like to get goosebumps when I watch the John Lewis adverts. <laughs> so, yeah. And I think last year's was just so cute and emotional. Because it was very relative to what everyone had been through with COVID. But in a nice, subtle way. It wasn't like in your face COVID. So, I think they just didn't quite get there this year. It's, it's, there's an alien in it. I just... <laughs> I don't know, it felt, it felt too modern and not like cosy Christmas enough. Let me know, what did you think of it? It's called The Unwanted Guest, is that right? The Un something guest, I can't remember. Anyway, I'm gonna get on with this. So I will put you on a timeout, as Carl would say, three, two, one. <laughs> the best day of the year. Come fly with me now, Rudy. Okay, it has been a while and my dough has been chilling. Hang on, let me just shut the fridge. So, this is how we're looking. Now I'm going to roll these into balls and then I'm going to roll them into this little concoction of icing sugar and lemon zest. And then I'm going to pop them in the oven. So, let's make some amaretto biscuits. <laughs> okay, we are out. They look a little bit burnt and I don't know why because I did exactly what it said. The only thing I did actually do halfway through baking them was I had a look and they were kind of like 
little mounds so I slightly like pressed with the fork because you can see here so they look more like biscuits and I think they do look better but I don't know what's happened here because they do look a little bit burnt but I'm gonna have a very quick taste test although I should let them cool a bit longer but let's just have I'm just so intrigued to see if they taste like what I think it should if you know what I mean but then I feel like when they cool they go a bit more crispy so they might be a bit better then oh that's actually so good okay I take it back I don't mind that I've burnt them a little bit because they taste great <laughs> never judge a book by its cover okay, I'm just about to go and get these fixed and redone I have a very cute plan so I think I'm gonna do a little transition here I, I, do you know what? I want to try a new one where I go like this try and hide them all and then I'll open and they'll be different so I'm gonna give it a try I'm also taking my nail lady some of my bow and tea collection actually because she really loved well she's just great at nails so I just want to give her to them because she's the best but she really wanted this set and it sold out so I had some outfits left from when we shot the collection where I had like a few of a few more of each so I'm taking her them as well and I'm also wearing them at the same time. But anyway, let's do our transition in three, two, one. These nails will be different. Okay, I don't know if that transition will have worked at all. <laughs> it's also really dark so you can't fully see what I've had done. I need to go into the house I think so that you can properly have a look. But I've got these cute little hearts. Very plain for me actually, but I really like them. <laughs> Have you been playing? Have you been napping? I missed you both. I went and got my nails done. Do you like them? Okay. Oh, I'm freezing. Do you know what now calls for, guys? It calls for. Oh, bloody heck. That, that always happens, doesn't it? When I'm talking. It calls for heating. I am such a. I can't think of the word. I'm so particular with heating. I'll only put it on when it's really needed, <laughs> just because I'm, I'm, I'm a bit anal about about like heating. <laughs> anyway, I've just put the heating on because it is freezing. But you know what I'm gonna do now? I am gonna get the house all snuggly. Pop. Oh, hang on, these two want to go out for a wee. Go on then. <laughs> all right. Look at that. Look how dark it is. It's four o'clock. I'm gonna get all snuggly, I'm gonna put my snuggly Christmas PJs on and I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea. Well, I might have a cup of tea with one of these biscuits actually. Let's see if they're different now that they've, oh well they're so nice, but they've, they've gone so they're crispy on the outside and then soft on the inside. Oh my god, they're so nice. <laughs> I think I'm actually gonna love you and leave you because I'm trying not to make my videos too, too long anymore because you know what i'm like i'll have a 45 minute but we all don't need to listen to me talk for 45 minutes because i'm not that interesting <laughs> i'm gonna put a bit of simpsons on i think wait for eastenders oh, i'm so cold but yeah i'm gonna love you and leave you guys oh well, actually let me quickly show you my nails in the light because you'll be able to see them properly now there we go can you see they're quite subtle for me. I was debating between red and then this is the colour I had when I had like those cloud nails. I don't know if you remember them. I, I'm a sucker for this colour blue now because it's the same colour as my at beyond. So I decided on that colour. But yeah, I was thinking red, but then the red might have looked like Valentine's nails. So we went with these and I really, really like them. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all having a good week so far. And sending you all my love. My lips look blue, don't they? I, I don't think they actually are. Oh, they actually look blue. Am I that cold? I think I'm that cold. I need to go. Do you know what I need to get out, actually, is my hoodie. I haven't had my hoodie in a while because it hasn't been cold enough. I'm going to get my hoodie out, I think. I might go. Let's go get the cloud one quickly before I finish off. Let me see if the dogs want to come back in first though, because I don't want them to get chilly. Come, up, 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 come in, you don't wait by the door and then run off as soon as I open it. Right, let's go get the hoodie. She going to get our hoodie? Do you want to get, oh my god, imagine the dogs had an hoodie. They need to make dog hoodies. 
that would be so cute. So let's get the Udi out. Oh, oh, should we do Udi or should we do the polar bear onesie? No, I think I think we'll do it. Oh my gosh. Udi's are just the best thing ever. Do you know what? I was actually quite sad when it just got too hot to wear that. What do you think? So mummy get the Udi on and then you can cuddle into it. Yeah. You gonna say bye? We're finishing off the video. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Oh, Bluebell's pushing him. She gets so jealous. <laughs> Do you wanna get involved? Look at her pushing him out of the way. Anyway, guys, I'll hopefully see you on my next video sending you all my love. And we will see you soon, won't we, doggies? Oh, oh look at them. That's so cute. <laughs>